Big day in politics yesterday here in Rhode Island. Congressman Jim Langevin announcing he is retiring. That was followed by Governor McKee outlining goals for 2022 last night in his first state of the state address, including big investment in new programs without raising taxes. Still a lot of questions about his political plans for the near future as well. Kate Walsh joins us now at noon, digging deeper into what the governor had to say last night. Well, this is an election year, so our political analyst Joe Fleming said Governor Dan McKee could certainly benefit from the proposals he made in his State of the State address as long as he sees them all come to fruition. The state of Rhode Island is resilient and full of opportunity. Opportunity backed by over a billion dollars in federal tax money at Rhode Island's disposal. That type of financial surplus giving Governor Dan McKee the money behind the proposals he made in his first State of the State address Tuesday night. But 12 News political analyst Joe Fleming warned McKee's plans aren't a done deal. The big thing he has to do is get it through the General Assembly. A lot of the issues he's talking about are things the General Assembly likes. For example, housing. Speaker Sakachi is a very big housing prop proponent. So it's going to be easy to get through. The question is the details in that program. Fleming pointed out that the issues McKee focused on are issues governors have addressed for years. Jobs, small business, education, and McKee proposed investing $250 million in more affordable housing. How can we expect our sons and daughters to stay in Rhode Island if they don't have housing they can afford in his Republican rebuttal, House Minority Leader Blake Filippi called McKee's use of executive orders during the pandemic unlawful. In August, he sought to skirt the law by declaring a new COVID state of emergency to give himself a new 180-day period to govern us by executive order. Fleming said he expects McKee to loosen up on executive orders as COVID case numbers improve, but at times, executive orders, he said, are needed. He has to be able to act fairly fast in a time like this. I'm Kate Walsh, 12 News.